I've heard about the Circle of Magi outside of the Imperium, but I've never been in one. Are you certain it's wise for us to come here, considering who we're with? Maybe not, but we'll be cautious. This seems more like a prison. I wonder if it's more effective than the Circle I know. How is the Imperial Circle of Magi different? Once upon a time, it was as it is here. The Chantry watched the Magisters closely for any signs of corruption or weakness. Then it changed. The Magisters were permitted to watch over their own, and Templars kept only to enforce the law. What happened next was inevitable. The Magisters rule again, as powerful as they ever were. You said the Chantry used to watch the Magisters. Why did they stop? You must remember that the attitude towards magic is different in Tevinta. Magisters came from wealthy families, bloodlines that had nurtured magical talent for countless generations. The Chantry was not trying to control poor peasants, but the scions of the greatest houses in the Imperium. I thought the Magisters had been thrown down by the Chantry. On the contrary, Andraste never defeated the Imperium. A great army conquered the South, but not the North. The Magisters eventually surrendered to the Chantry, but they did so on their terms. They kept their influence. Thus, they reclaimed what they lost over the centuries. Some battles are lost by inches. You talk about the Magisters as if they are all evil. I have no doubt that some are good and noble men, strong enough to resist temptation. But how many temptations do you wish to offer a man before he will give in? Blood magic is everywhere in Tevinter, from the lowliest apprentice up to the Archon himself. You can't have seen this for yourself. <laughs> Daenerys talked about it often. Of course, they say it's forbidden. Behind the smiles and closed doors, however, it's a different matter. To be a Magister in Tevinter is to be glorious. To be a powerful Magister in Tevinter, that is worth any price. You're saying the same thing could happen here? If the mages were permitted to be their own watchers? Of course. It is too easy for a mage to resort to blood magic if they feel the need is great enough. A mage can desire power, justice, revenge, protection. Any cause will do, and then they are lost. You can't say every mage is corrupt. All I am saying is the Imperium offers no answer. All that Andraste did long ago to end the tyranny of magic has been undone. She freed our people as well, but it was your Chantry that ended that. And who enslaved us in the first place? Don't be naive. Power corrupts, as they say, and mages have power enough already. According to everything I've seen, the Circle can't control mages anyhow. And what is the alternative? Freedom is a noble ideal. But I see no oppression here. I see fear and danger. But enough. I'm sure we came here for a reason. There's a good possibility that any place we've gone to was not really for a reason. So let's not jump into that rat's nest. friend like you once. Got in all kinds of trouble. Dragged me along. Didn't think I'd be doing that again. I got a bit weighty the last time we talked. Sorry for putting that on you. You'd be surprised how people just tell me their darkest secrets. I must look trustworthy. You look... something. True. Proud. Like even if you don't agree with me, You'll be honest. I just... I hope I didn't seem too selfish when I told you about justice. I didn't know what would happen. I figured a willing host, a friend. It had to be better than playing the demon and haunting some corpse. Well, he can't complain about his looks anyway. No, don't go there. That's not going to end well. I don't want to hurt you. 
Why would you hurt me? You saw what I did in the Chantry. That's who I am. A year ago, maybe we could have had something. But I'm not that man anymore. I'll break your heart. And that might kill me as surely as the Templars. You have been a great help. Alright, let's head over and see who else we can talk to. Ah, shit. I gotta run all the way out of here. <laughs> I gotta remember that occasionally I need to run around inside the city and uh, talk to all the different characters in order to to get the updates in the storyline and all that kind of stuff. By the Dread Wolf! Why is my house always such a mess when people are here? By the dread wolf. Okay, Why nothing. Why is my house always such a mess when people It's not a good idea to wander around outside when you're just playing as Hawk. Because Hawk as powerful as Hawk is or isn't um will never be, like, really capable enough to take out a gang of people attacking her at once. Mika. I think he's ignoring me now. Hey, is my coin not good enough for you? Oh, Hawk, thanks for helping me with that little problem I had. You going to buy me a drink to celebrate our victory? You drink the swill here. It's an acquired taste. Oh, before I forget, are you still looking for work? Because I have a friend who needs some help. A friend of yours is a friend of mine. What can I do? He didn't say, and I didn't ask, but I'm sure you're up to it. His name's Martin. He has a room right here in The Hanged Man. Tell him I sent you. And listen, he's in trouble with some raiders. Used to be one, and they didn't like that he tried to leave. Whatever he's asking, it's probably going to be dangerous. Watch your back. Just some friendly advice from Isabella to you, yes? Edwina's the meanest waitress I've ever met, but she keeps my drink full. I think I might love her. <laughs> uh, I uh, guess Fenris's house. He's living in that mansion that we killed everybody in. Because seems to be that's an appropriate way to climb the property ladder in this place, in this city. Kill somebody and move into the house. He didn't even bother getting rid of the bodies. Oh my god, this freaking lunatic. Agrigio Pavali. There are six bottles in the cellar. Denarius used to have me pour it for his guests. My appearance intimidated them, he said, which he enjoyed. Nothing like a bit of fear with your wine. That's what Daenerys used to say. It's good I can still take pleasure in the small things. You've had a difficult life. I'd rather not speak more of it. Are you certain? I'm willing to listen. <laughs> to my whining? Very charitable of you. I've wanted to leave my past behind me, but it won't stay there. Tell me, have you never wanted to return to Ferelden? I have no home left to return to. The blight is over. You could rebuild what you lost. Do you truly not want to? 
My mother came from Kirkwall. Our heritage is here. Having a place where you can put down roots, I understand. Still, to have the option must be gratifying. Do you intend to keep living here? I haven't decided. For now, it's as good as any other place. I would return to Saharan if I could, but there is no life for me there. Is that where you're from? So I've been told. Were you very young when you left then? Perhaps. You could track your former master down, I assume. I imagine he has returned to Minrathus, though I dare not go near the city while he is alive. No, it is better to wait for him to leave his fortress, fight from a fortified position. I do not expect your help when that day comes, but I would not turn it aside. You've been on the run a long time, then. Three years now. Denarius has a way of finding me. Perhaps it is the markings. Whatever the means, it never takes him long to follow. This is the first time I've given him reason to pause. I suppose there are advantages in numbers. Haven't you sought help before? Hirelings, when I could steal the coin. Never anyone of substance. Until you. Denarius will not give up, however. I await his return. What if he does give up? What then? Then I go to him. I will not live with a wolf at my back. Sounds like the right idea to me. If it comes to that, I doubt it will. <laughs> Maybe it's just me, but it sounds like you want to stick around. I could see myself staying, for the right reasons. I should thank you again for helping me against the Hunters. Yes, you should. Had I known Anso would find me a woman so capable, I might have asked him to look sooner. You sound like you're about to ask for a loan. Well, this mansion does require some upkeep. Perhaps I'll practice my flattery for your next visit. With any luck, I'll become better at it. Jeez, every freaking time the option comes up, I seem to be choosing the, um... What is it? The, the thing that advances the relationship between the characters. Anybody left? Aveline, I guess. Good luck getting in. I've been waiting all day. Nothing going on, Hawk. You'd be the first to know if there was. Yeah, uh, I guess there's nothing to do here then. So I'll bring the episode to an end. Yeah. Why would you have a bookshelf so tall? How do you get up there? Is there a ladder in here? No, no. You have to climb the freaking bookcase. That sounds safe. Imagine when you stocked that thing. You had to climb it up like one book at a time. That's why I didn't even bother with this one. Jeez, I got halfway up and gave up. Screw it, they said. And then these candles. They're too high. What's going on here? And then you leave a sword over here. Why are there so many chairs in here? Ah, everything's wrong. Everything. Ah, oh, well. At least these bookshelves are a little bit shorter. You have my thanks. Aveline was wise to bring you. She will make a fine captain. Yeah, sure. Done. Stuff. Stuff I can't take.